This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 283, the most crucial money lesson in three words, Mind the Gap, by Paula Pant of affordanything.com. And hi again, everyone. I'm your narrator, Dan, and I am here each Monday through Friday reading to you from some of the best personal finance blogs anywhere. And today, we have a brand new author for the show. You might recognize the new name, Paula Pant from Afford Anything. She's an early retiree who did everything she could to save money in her 20s and then eventually was able to buy some real estate investments and everything took off from there. And she shares all of that information about herself on her site, but she's also a fellow podcaster. And you can find Paula's podcast wherever you are listening to this show. Just search for Afford Anything and it'll pop right up. And now let's hear our very first post from Paula Pant as we optimize your life. The most crucial money lesson in three words, Mind the Gap, by Paula Pant of affordanything.com. After I graduated from college and accepted an entry-level job, I received a starting salary of $21,000 per year. Adjusted for inflation, that's $24,100 in today's dollars. I was a diligent saver even then. I directed 15% of my pre-tax income into my 401k and another 5% into a health savings account. I forced myself to live on whatever was left over. I also freelanced in the evenings and saved this money for travel. When I told the grown-ups around me that I was investing 20% of my income into retirement and health accounts, they complimented me. They told me I'm making excellent progress. But they were wrong. I wasn't progressing, not really. Here's the sad truth that nobody discusses. 20% of not much is not much. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad I did it and I recommend it. Something is better than nothing, but it's not enough. Even with a 20% retirement savings rate, I was still saving only $4,200 a year. That's not even enough to max out an IRA. Forget about amping up to full max status, which happens when you max out your 401k, IRA, and HSA. That prospect was literally impossible. It was more than my entire salary. And if I wanted to save for the down payment on a home or buy rental properties, forget about it. Hashtag not gonna happen. Mind the gap. In between what you earn and what you spend, there is a gap. Your job is to make this gap as wide as possible. Mind the gap. There are two ways to increase this gap. Earn more and spend less. Both are critical, but the more you make, the easier it is to save and the more substantial those savings become. Frugality is necessary, but not sufficient. Earning more, on the other hand, Fast tracks your path to freedom in ways mere penny pinching never could. So let's say you earn $30,000 per year. You're a rock star at frugality. You live in grandma's basement, you eat ramen noodles and wear used underwear. You sock away 50% of your pre-tax income, $15,000. That's not going to get you very far. You can almost max out your 401k with that money. Almost, but not quite. You can't full max your retirement accounts. You can't save for a house unless you're willing to rob your retirement contributions for funds. You'll never become a landlord unless you're willing to look into those risky no money down options, in which case you'll be swimming in debt. But what if you earn $160,000 per year? Your options explode. You can move into a nice apartment, drive a car, and buy produce at the grocery store and still save 50% of your income or $80,000 per year with virtually zero hassle or inconvenience. You'd live on 32,000, totally reasonable for a single person or frugal couple, pay $48,000 in taxes at an effective 30% rate, and save $80,000. You could full max every retirement account and have enough money left over to cash flow, rental property, travel, buy your dream home, send yourself to grad school, or pay for your kid's college. Imagine buying a house in cash every year. If you're a high earner, paying cash for houses consistently isn't that far-fetched. Two incomes equals turbocharge. Now imagine that you're part of a dual income couple. Two people can live almost as cheaply as one. You'll share one mortgage or rent payment, one electric bill, one water bill. You'll consolidate insurance accounts, cook in bulk, and perhaps even share a car. Next, imagine that both of you are high earners. Let's say you make $200,000 combined. You live, pretty lavishly, at $40,000 per year. That's $1,330 per month for your rent or mortgage and $2,000 per month for everything else. You pay $66,000 in taxes at a 33% effective rate. You save $94,000 per year. That's $7,800 a month in pure savings. Once you start saving that much, freedom is just around the corner. But you need to boost your income in order to get there. Your mental bandwidth is limited and if you devote your precious brain power to clipping coupons and chasing buy one, get one free deals, 
you won't widen the gap, not in any meaningful way. Sure, you'll pat yourself on the back, you'll feel better about yourself, you can even brag to your friends, check out this free bottle of ketchup, I stacked a manufacturer's coupon with a store coupon, and then a mailed-in rebate, but stop. You're chasing immediate gratification. You want the buzz of scoring free ketchup, but you're not moving the needle. You're not minding the gap. Do you want immediate gratification or real progress? Without disclosing my actual income, I can tell you this much. I max out every retirement account available to me. That's Roth Solo 401k, Roth IRA, and HSA. I've bought houses in cash. I've traveled across Europe, the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, and plenty of other corners of the globe. If I still earn $21,000 per year, I couldn't even think about doing this. The more I make, the more substantial my savings. The more I make, the greater the gap between income and expenses. Mind the gap. If I can distill personal finance advice into three words, that's it. Mind the gap. Focus on ramping up your income while keeping your expenses the same or less. That gap will naturally grow wider and wider. That moves the needle. You just listened to the post titled The Most Crucial Money Lesson in Three Words, Mind the Gap by Paula Pant of affordanything.com. And a big thanks to Paula for giving us permission to narrate her content here on the show. She has a bunch of valuable posts, so there's a lot more to come. And in the meantime, you can check out her podcast, Afford Anything. And on that note, it would be amazing if you could help spread the word about this podcast too. You can show someone right on their phone how they can listen to us. That's the most effective way. Or you can direct them to oldpodcast.com slash listen, where we have a page set up there explaining how to get our podcast. So we'd really appreciate that. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for being here and listening all the way through. I will see you in the Thursday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Finance Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.